pleasure to uh, stand before the court this afternoon, uh, moving for admission to the bar on behalf of Alexander Scott. I've known Mr. Scott for uh, a couple of years now hey, as uh, a student in my classes at Philly Law School. He's become a friend in my home. I know that Mr. Scott uh, has an excellent work ethic, uh, outstanding ethics. He's an intelligent person. He's got a great sense of humor. And I know that he'll be a positive admission to the bar, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Uh, Scott, if you would please stand. Let me ask you, um, who did you get your results? I got my results on November 7th after a great deal of stress and waiting. Right. How did you feel? I felt an incredible sense of relief and then a sense of disbelief and now a great sense of pride. Right, right. Yeah. Um, when you first started this journey, you know, um, deciding that you wanted to be a lawyer and going to law school, what was the, what was your idea of what you would like to accomplish with that? What I wanted to do was, first of all, just grow as a person and be able to better serve society, better serve my company, and just get a greater understanding of how our entire system works. And I have to ask, of course, uh, uh, did you pass on the office today? I did. Very good. I'm, uh, I'm proud for you. That is an accomplishment. But as uh, I told uh, myself and others, and I have for the last now uh, 20, 20 years, it's the last time anybody will ask you. <laughs> you have now crossed the bar officially. We're going to make that official. And uh, from here on, I hope you are. Uh, no, uh, I'm too mute. Right? It is, uh, it is mm -hmm. truly a noble. You are my student. And uh, I heard you got a perfect score on the family law exam. That's correct, Your Honor. I was very pleased last night uh, teaching. It was the week before we do a week, so we did uh, alternative dispute resolution. And I said, one of my former students is giving me the honor of giving him the oath tomorrow on the history of And I understand he got 100% on the family law exam. So I'm setting a very high bar for the 17 students that were uh, sitting in there last night. So I expect them to, to, to do the same. So um, I mean, very accomplished. Such as I believe to be 
honestly debatable under the law of the land. That you will employ for the purpose of maintaining the causes confided to you such means only as are consistent with truth and honor and will never seek to mislead the judge or jury by any artifice or false statement of fact or law. I will make or I will. I will employ for the purpose of maintaining the causes confided to me such means only as are consistent with truth and honor and will never seek to mislead the judge or jury by any artifice or false statement of fact or law. Will you maintain the confidence and preserve and violate the secrets of your clients? Accept no compensation in connection with the client's business except with the client's knowledge and approval. I will maintain the confidence and preserve and violate the secrets of my client and will accept no compensation in connection with my client's business except with my client's knowledge and approval. That you will abstain from all offensive personality and advance no fact prejudicial to the honor or reputation of a party or witness unless required by the just, justice of the cause with which you are charged. I will abstain from all offensive personality and advance no fact prejudicial to the honor or reputation of a party or witness unless required by the justice of the cause with which I am charged. That you will never reject from any consideration personal to yourself the cause of the defenseless or oppressed or delay any cause for lucre or malice. I will never reject from any consideration personal to myself the cause of the defenseless or oppressed or delay any cause for lucre or malice. Will you in all other respects conduct yourself personally and professionally in conformity with the high standards of conduct imposed on members of the bar as conditions for the privilege to practice law in the state? I will in all other respects conduct myself personally and professionally in conformity with the high standards of conduct imposed upon members of the bar as conditions for the privilege to practice law in the state. And is it true, sir, that this candidate uh, has a certificate from the Board of Law Examiners of the state of Michigan? Yes, Your Honor, I hold it in my hand right now. And do you believe he possesses sufficient learning in the law, moral character, and the ability to enable him to practice as an attorney and counselor in this state? I do. Well, it is with great honor and privilege, sir, that I grant your motion and hereby order that Alexander James Scott shall be admitted.